In today's makeup tutorial, I'm going to show you how simple it is to apply more eyeshadows to a makeup look. So in my previous video, I showed you how to create this look using just two eyeshadows. And I noticed that two eyeshadow tutorials are very popular on my channel. And I think it's because they're very quick and easy and simple. But I wanted to show the difference between applying two and applying five and how easy you can actually achieve these different looks. I feel like you can't really tell the difference between two and five. And that proves, I believe, two things. A, two eyeshadows are totally enough. And B, if you can master two, you can definitely handle five. And this is actually how I started in the makeup world. I would perfect a very, very basic look and then very slowly start to add other elements. So I wanted to show you that today. I hope that this helps you, particularly for any beginners out there who are a little bit scared. Start off with something that you can perfect and then just add a little bit extra. So with all that said, let's get started. So as always, we're going to start by applying an eyeshadow primer all over the lid. And I've actually started applying my eyeshadow primer using a damp sponge. I find that this creates a really even finish and also is so soothing because of the dampness of the sponge. It's just really soothing on the eyes. But I love the finish that it gives. It's way more even than applying it with my fingertips, which means we're going to have a longer lasting, better finish, and the eyeshadows are going to have something to hold on to while also creating a blank canvas as well. Now the two eyeshadows that we're gonna be using is from this Fenty Beauty palette. This is the palette number three. We're gonna use the top brown shade and the bottom brown shade. And I'm going to apply the first shade using a blending brush. Now I like to hold the blending brush a little higher up on the handle when I'm applying. So the further you hold it up on the handle, the more pressure you're going to apply, the more eyeshadow you're gonna apply. If you hold it in the middle, you're going to blend as you apply. And if you hold it right at the bottom, you're only going to blend. That's just something to bear in mind. So I'm gonna take my blending brush and I'm holding it in the center because my lid is still a little damp. So I don't want to apply too much pressure because it's just going to grab hold of certain areas. So it's better to hold it in the center, pick up a little bit of product, and then very slowly start to build this up on the lid. So I'm gonna start on the lower part of the lid and I'm going to build this up as we go because we want to grab hold of the shadows to keep it on the lid, but we don't want to create little patches on the lid either. So very slowly build this up, apply it nice and low and work your way up covering the lid. Don't worry about the crease just yet, just, just cover the lid. Now, as you can see, I'm holding the brush kind of low down in front of me, and this allows the bristles to kind of go up a little bit higher. So it's covering the lid and also a little bit into the crease as well. Now, if you only want to work on the crease, you're going to bring it up horizontally. So working across the eye instead, and this will only cover this area and prevent your eyeshadows from going up too high, but keeping it nice and deep in that crease. So I use a combination of keeping it low and then keeping it high, depending on the areas that I need to cover. Another little tip and something that I've never actually mentioned is I always keep my eyebrow kind of raised because if I kind of squint or have my eyes kind of relaxed, I get these little wrinkles. So try keeping your eyebrow nice and high and look down in a mirror and this will create a smooth line for us to work on. So I always have a mirror kind of placed in front of me and this just creates this smoothness. It's gonna make sure we have a nice even texture and an even look. So that's just something to try. And I've never mentioned it before, but it's something I always do. So once I've covered the entire lid area, I want to then kind of work in the crease area now. And I'm gonna do little swirling motions. And this is going to blend in that crease line and keep it nice and deep in there, but give us this kind of soft kind of halo around the lid. So I'm keeping my hand high and doing little swirls. Now I could never do a smoky eye without using a clean blending brush to soften around the edges. This honestly makes such a difference. I'm holding it really far down on the handle because I don't want to apply anything or blend too much. I want a soft, gentle blend. So holding it really far down the handle will just let it glide over the skin so it's gonna be nice and soft and blurry and just that perfect smoky look because smokiness is the deep darkness right at the base and then it kind of disappears into nothing and that's what we want. And that's what a clean blending brush does. And then you should end up with something that looks like this. Now moving on to our darker shade, I'm going to apply this using a small flat brush. Now you can come from above 
and kind of tap it across the lash line, or you can bring it down and tap it across the lash line. It's totally up to you and whichever one works for you. I'm also holding it quite high up on the handle to give me lots of control because I don't want this to kind of go everywhere. You know, we don't want fallout. So keep it kind of high, gives you lots of control. And you can really press that dark eyeshadow onto the lash line. Now, as you can see, I'm keeping the brush kind of vertically across my skin. So it's kind of pressing it against my skin right across the lash line. And I keep it a little higher on the outer edge and then I kind of sweep it downwards the closer it gets to the inner corner, but it's all about this pressing motion and keeping it vertically. I'm also gonna do little smudging motions with this as well so I can kind of use the brush back and forth in kind of a little wiggle across the lash line. And that's going to apply the eyeshadow just a little bit higher and make sure it's nice and smudged. Then I'm gonna switch my technique, bring my hand nice and high, and this time we're working across horizontally. So I'm pressing this all along and we're gonna get a really nice deep effect as we do this. So I switch between the two using horizontal kind of pressing motions, vertically pressing motions until I get the depth that I want. We're just gonna go in with some mascara and some falsies. Now, a lot of people are asking me how I apply my lashes. So I'm gonna show you, this is what I like to do. I apply the glue on the upper part. So it's not on the lash band, it's not underneath, it's on the upper part. And I look down in a mirror and I'm gonna press them upwards. So the first thing that I like to do is to kind of kiss my lashes. So I kind of go onto the lashes. This kind of disperses the glue and makes sure it's not really close to my eyes either because we don't want to get glue in our eyes. And yes, you are gluing the fake lashes to your own lashes. So you do have to be careful after you've removed them to take care of your lashes. But what I do is I do this and then as you can see, it just grips hold of it. I let go and then I just stamp all the way across until the glue dries. And then this way I get to keep my own natural lash line and I can make sure that the lashes are really on there and I don't have any like little gaps or movement or anything like that. But you do have to take care of your lashes if you do this technique and I'm also not recommending it. And please make sure you don't get glue in your eyes. Also just wanna clarify, this is not stuck to the upper rim of my eye. It's stuck to the roots of my lashes, not on the waterline. Don't stick these to your waterline. It's gonna be very uncomfortable and it can actually really affect your eyes. Now I also didn't apply any mascara yet on the lower part because if my eyes get a little watery, I don't wanna have like, you know, smudge city going on. So once my upper lashes are on, I can then apply a little bit of mascara to the lower lashes. So now that we have our two eyeshadows on the eyes, we are going to add some more. So I'm actually gonna start off with this beautiful burnt orange matte shade. You don't have to use orange. You could use a mauve or a yellow or a blush tone, whatever kind of blush or lipstick that you're using, you could always incorporate that as well. And I'm going to apply this using a blending brush just in the center of the lid. So if you kind of cut your lid horizontally almost, we're going in the middle, right in the middle and we're working our whole way across the lid, keeping this mostly to the lid and then very slowly blending it upwards into the crease so it eventually fades into nothing. Try to avoid the darker area right at the lash line. We still wanna keep a little bit of that depth there. So try to keep it a little bit higher than that to add a soft blend. And as always, I'm gonna take my clean blending brush because you can't do a smoky eye without a clean blending brush. And I'm just gonna very, very lightly soften out any harsh edges. Again, holding the handle quite low down so I get a soft, gentle blend. And next, we're gonna take this deep plum shade and apply this over our smoky line right at the lash line. And one thing that I absolutely love about deep plums is that they work with most eye colors. They will add just the most subtlest difference to this smoky eye. Like you won't notice it, but your eyes are gonna shine just that little bit more. So layering a little bit of this plum over that deep color is definitely going to add a little bit more depth and bring out the eyes. Absolutely love, love this shade. Highly recommend having a shade like this in your makeup bag. And then you should end up with something that looks like this. And as you can see with the before and after, so we have the two eyeshadows and then the four eyeshadows, we just have a little bit more lift because we've blended and brought that eyeshadow outwards. We have a little bit more depth of the lash line, but mostly we have this overall smokier, deeper appearance, bringing the eyes upwards, which I absolutely love. 
Now for underneath the eye, I'm going to take the plum shade. I'm going to apply this on the outer edge and then swing it upwards to the inner corner. Now I actually don't suit applying too much eyeshadow under my eye. For some people, it looks absolutely amazing, which is why I'm showing it. But for me, not so much. And then I'm going to take that burnt orange shade using a blending brush to sweep around the edges. Again, I'm going to hold it really far up in the handle. Like we talked about earlier, the higher you hold on the handle, the more control, the more precision you're going to have. So I'm going to hold it really far up on the handle. And then we're going to sweep this around the edges of the plum to add a little bit more depth. And then on the waterline, I'm going to apply a nudie shade. This is just going to open my eyes a little bit more. I actually wish I'd gone for something with a little bit more of a bronzy metallic finish. I feel like that would have worked so much better than applying this nude shade. So that's just something to bear in mind. And then you should end up with something that looks like this. So, so far we have our four eyeshadows on there and we also have that nude shade on the waterline. And you can see the difference between no eye makeup and four eyeshadows. That's quite a difference right there. <laughs> and then to finish it off, what do I always love doing? Applying a little bit of metallic. I love metallic shades. Seriously, if you are a beginner, get yourself some mattes and top them with a little bit of metallic. Oh my goodness, is it going to completely change your look? Honestly, it's going to take it to the next level because what do metallics do? Metallics cover up any mistakes. So if your blending hasn't been great, if your fading hasn't been great, metallics are going to hide it all. I'm applying this in the center of the lid over the top of everything that we've applied and just kind of catching that light right in the center. And then that is the finished look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Please give it a try. I promise you, if you can master two, you can apply a million eyeshadows. So start off with the two, perfect it, finish it off with lashes and mascara and everything, and then just add a little bit more. It kind of takes the fear out of it because you know that your look is pretty much finished. You're just going to add a little bit extra as you go and very slowly build up, which is one of my favorite phrases to use. Slowly build up your technique and your skill and you will become a pro in no time. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. As always, my friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will see you in the next one.